Well today is uh, of course the celebration if you like of the uh, new Maypole that was erected last October 2021. Uh, it's different construction this time, it's laminated wood, wood. it's made across the water in England uh, and it was erected or uh, inaugurated in great style by the Mayor uh, and various uh, luminaries including the Hollywood Community Council. I'm involved with the Hollywood University of the Third Age, it's been going for about eight years now and we produced an exhibition setting out the history of the maypoles going right back to the earliest recorded one. We know there was a maypole here in Hollywood in 1625 when Hamilton, who was one of the Ulster Scots founders really of the uh, plantation, came across in 1607 and he set up in Clandiboy and he then got the map maker Thomas Raven to produce a map of all his lands in North Down uh, and the locality. And that shows very clearly a maypole in Hollywood. It's said to have been donated, according to one story at least, by a group of Dutch sailors who were shipwrecked in Belfast Loch, close to Hollywood, and then gratitude for having been saved by the residents of Hollywood, which was then a small fishing village, they donated one of the big spars from their sailing ship. We don't know whether that's true or not, but the fact is that since the 1620s, Hollywood has always had a maypole. And the key thing is it's now the only town in Ireland, the whole of Ireland, that still has its maypole. And it's a wonderful tradition. You can take it back with photographs to about the late 19th century. So there was one event when there was a new maypole about 1902 or so, donated by the family that then owned Hollywood, the Harrison family, who came here in the 1850s. And there are great crowds outside that. And it's interesting, we also have photographs from that same era showing soldiers from Palace Barracks, a Scottish regiment, we can tell them from their Bannockburn bonnets, and crowding around the maypole, with some of the still the same maypole in and the public houses that we have commemorated and still in business to this day, which is lovely. Obviously the working life, if you like, of a maypole is not that long. Traditionally they would have been uh, large pine trees, possibly Douglas fir, and maybe last about 20 years. Of course sometimes accidents come along. So during the Second World War there was an incident when one armoured vehicle tried to turn the corner too tightly and it struck the maypole. Of course back in the early 1900s the maypole was not situated where it is now in the middle of Shaw Road, it was actually in the middle of the crossroads so it was more likely that vehicles would knock into it potentially. We have some lovely images again shown in our exhibition of a 1940s maypole, a big spa being floated down from Ireland and Wolf being brought out of Belfast Loch by crane and then installed in the current location. The last one from the mid-1990s lasted for uh, nearly 20, 12, 20 years or so and that sadly came to grief in February uh, 2021. Um, fortunately early in the morning 
when no one was around because the top fell off. One of the lovely traditions we have in the Hollywood Maple that may commemorate those Dutch sailors from the 1620s or that sort of era is a number of small sailing boats uh, that were made locally uh, many years ago and that tradition has continued and those sailing boats there's one on each of the arms of the maple. Historically it's been a vital part of Hollywood and I've written about the history of Palace Barracks and we have records right back to the First World War about an individual who's going off to join the uh, RFC uh, which later became the RAF who had had the contract for flying the flag with the council uh, when it was appropriate and of course flying it at half mast when a wrong standing resident of Hollywood would have died and so there was request from this young man's mother that she be allowed to involve his younger brother then aged 14 in helping to erect the flag at the top of the maple when it was needed. So it really has been a vital part of Hollywood history and of course in more recent times it's been at the centre of our May Day celebrations. So obviously it has the magnificent May dancing going on around it and that's usually appreciated by local school children which always brings great crowds and it goes along with the May Queen and other festivities here in Hollywood. Long may the tradition continue.